Hi there, and welcome to the Bite Size channel. Today, I'll be giving you an introduction to the basic material op. First of all, I'd like you to pause the video and just make what you see here. Okay, great, let's go. So, if we click in between the cube and the transform, and we type in basic material, we get the basic material op. Now, if we click here in this little colored section, we can pick different color values for the shape. Just try that out, find something that you like. I'm gonna go for this kind of like cold blue. Okay, um, you can also use basic material to add a texture to a mesh. So I'm now going to make a texture op. I'm gonna grab my favorite picture, which is of course the beach. And as you can see, this has now been added to all the sides of the cube. If I now click the basic material up, I can use repeat. I can put this on two and this on two. As you can see, we now get the texture twice. Let's put this back. And we can also scroll on X and Y to put a texture where we'd like it to be. Okay. We also have the texture opacity, which is very handy. So I'm now going to just do something a little bit out of the box. I'm going to make an image compose op. And I'm going to add to it a new version of the stripes op. So I'm just going to type in stripes. I'm going to get stripes two. Now, if I make this window a little bit bigger and I click here, you can see if I click active texture ops, this is what's being made right now by this. So if I click on the stripes two op, um, I can like um, change the width of the stripes. I can rotate it. So I'm going to use this to do the, change the alpha opacity of the basic material in the cube. Sounds complicated. It's really simple. So image compose gives a texture out. We're going to plug this into texture opacity and look at what happens here. All of a sudden the opacity has changed. So if I now go to stripes two and let's make a timer two. Let's just animate this a bit. So I like animating things. And let's now plug this into offset. Turn the timer down, it's a little bit fast. And as you can see, we're now animating the alpha value of the texture. So it looks a little bit weird right now. So we're just gonna put a little up here in between called cull, uh, face culling. And as you can see, it now looks correct. So this is just one of the really simple tricks that you can do with basic material. The most important thing to remember is it doesn't um, take into account any lighting. It's always just going to show everything exactly as it's given. Uh, I hope that this tutorial has been handy to you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section below or to leave something on the forums. Thank you. Bye.